Morning YouTube, Trevor here, Summit or Nothing, down at Clavelli. I'm back on the coast path, back in North Devon for the coast path today. Uh, the sun is shining, We've got an 11 mile walk today between Clavelli and Westwood Ho. Well, bit of a head scratcher there, the sign points down the hill or up the hill, didn't know quite which way it was. So I've took a punt at it, we're going up the hill rather than going down to the village down there to only have to walk up again. So I'll keep an eye out for acorns, hopefully we're on the right track as this could be a bit of a detour. So this is up the hobby drive or hobby walk in case you're following in my footsteps. Don't follow in my footsteps. Up in the trees you can see the coast over there, see where we're going to walk today. We'll pass Bucks Mills in five miles. I think the first part of this walk is going to be all woodland and then we should break out as we get sort of towards Westwood Ho. The last half is going to be over the beaches. This winding wooded area, very similar to what Donovan and myself went through a couple of weeks ago between Lynmouth and Porlock. I still haven't seen a sign with an acorn on it. Hopefully I'm still on the right track. I probably walked a good mile and a half, two miles nearly. Hopefully it's not a waste of time. That would be frustrating. Nice little vantage point of uh, Clavelli from here. So we have uh, been climbing on this path, it's still going up. Just looks like a little model village. Uh, and I know I said it last time in the last video, but yeah, real quaint little village. I didn't want to take you down there today because uh, a bit of time to get down and up. So I've been there before, so just check that video out. It's very much like uh, Groundhog Day, walking in through these woods. Haven't I been on this bridge before? A lot of vegetation on the coast here. Natural woodland, beautiful. Well, occasionally if you break out of the woods, I think I can see the cliffs right out there. Wollacoon and Croyd. At last, the end of Hobby Drive. It's good to know I was on the right path. <laughs> so three miles in, you think. If I come to a dead end and have to turn around six miles to get back to the start of the coast path. Oh, it's not. Let's go down there. Right, I've just broken out from that little bit of woodland into a field. There's my next sign. So, oh, look. Could be pointing that way. Could also be pointing that way. But I have printed a map out, see if that makes it any more clear. Looks like we've come out of the woodlands there, look, over the little stream. And it looks like we turn left. Skirt around the outside of the field. Someone needs to fix that sign. Is this way? And now we're back in the woodland again. We must be fast approaching Bucks Mills. It was five miles into our journey. I think we've probably done about four. <sighs> First real climb of the day. It wasn't much, but it took it out of me. See? Carry on. That is a cool tree. Now we're back out in some fields again. At some point today, we will see some coast, I promise you. I love this. Always reminds me of Robin Williams and the advert for toys. Toys! Yeah, that was uh, funnier in my head. little section coming right down behind people's houses here. Right, here we are, Bucks Mills. Well, we knew that once we went down, we'd have to come back up. Here we come. Little village of Bucks Mills. Bye, Bucks Mills. Thanks for having us. This has been a big climb up out of Bucks Mills, as I knew it would be. And I've got a vantage point now where we can look back and see a good view of Clavelli, the woodland that I've walked in around. Well, it's been a bit of a greasy little path, lots of up and down, quite close to the edge in places. I'm walking for six, maybe seven miles. It's all in the woods. Peppercoon Coach House. Feel free to rest here a while, it says. I think, yeah, I'll just have a bite, a quick bite here, and then we'll carry on.
It's more like it. Look, Lundy. Might do a walk around that one day. That was a climb up there, but I think we're over the worst of it now. It's not quite so steep, the uh, climbs now. See right down there in the distance, there's a big white building there, that's Salt and Sands, the Salt and Sands Hotel. A bit treacherous this bit, there's like steps going down but it's really overgrown, you can't see where the steps are, you can't see through the foliage. Well I've met two groups of hikers who I've stopped and chatted to. One was like a big chap. He seemed a bit grumpy, pissed off. He fell over and I saw him. And he said, God, it's overgrown back there, it's ridiculous. You know, and he had a bit of a moan. The next hike I saw, sort of a toned chap, really chatty. He was the opposite, enthusiastic, happy. He says, this walk, they say it's strenuous, but it's, uh, it's been uh, easy. I'm enjoying myself. That was our work through there. Now we're going right down, down to sea level here, by the looks of it, then back up. So everything I said about there not being much of a climb from here on in, I was wrong. Now the climb back up. It's getting really hot now. I've took me out off just to uh, regulate some heat. There. So that's where we're going. Westward O's over behind those hills. Beautiful looking hills, isn't they? And then it's fairly low lying along the rest of that route. It's one of those days today where I've uh, been walking sort of constant. I promise myself, next bench I'll get to, we'll have a little stop. The past three benches that I've passed, it's been people sat, so I keep going. Final stretch now into Westwood Ho. I think I'm going to make it far, as far down as the Hawkins ice cream van. Don't know if you've ever heard of Hawkins, but if you're ever down this way, best ice cream in the world. Nothing like it. But it's easier walking now. I think this used to be an old train track. to Westwood O now. First thing you see when you walk around that hill is the old building there, it looks like the Psycho House. Norman Bates. I think it's a nice house, you could do that up, it would look nice, but it looks like something out of the Adams family at the moment. Shame. So here we are now, Westwood O. Two little facts for you. One is that Westwood Ho is the only place in this country with an exclamation mark in its title and it's named after a book apparently. Never realised it was a sea pool in Westwood O. Okay there's another fact about Westwood O. Rudyard Kipling was raised here. Alright. <laughs> what family? Right, well, Mummy says you've had a Hawkins ice cream. Well, I'm gonna go and get one now. I had the expensive one. The expensive one? I had a smoothie cone, a flake, and I had a salted caramel ice cream. No way. That'll be the end of my trail. So, thank you for watching. This is Westwood Ho. Thanks.
for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. That's on Twitter. That's not words. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Goodbye.